Hello everyone and welcome back to Croc 1. I'm your host, Hawkins. And we are going to go right in to the first main boss of Croc. So this, I remember this actually. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the intro cutscene. It seems to want to skip cutscenes like the intro and just a whole lot of stuff like that. So whatever happens, I'll just roll with it. Yep, so it just skips right through the the intro, but once again, I'm going to record the intro off YouTube so that you can see it. And that's something that really wasn't done in um, Crack 2, was it didn't show the bosses beforehand. It kind of gave you, well, it kind of did, now that I think about it, but like small mini bosses like Solvina and the first hub area and um, just all the other bosses really it didn't really give you much build up and yet even for the the mini bosses of the area in this each kind of like stage world here in this game it still gave you some build up you know it gave you some origin story like hey this this guy was you know a, a ladybug now it became a professional boxer you know so it's like, kind of tells you a bit about them. Maybe there was more surprise factor in Croc 2 with the mini bosses, but you know, they probably just wanted to save on their, you know, their budget, but whatever. So here we are, oh, listen to that. So what you do here, I think it's the same kind of uh, thing. Yeah, you hit them. You jump on <laughs> you butt slam him, man. This is so comedic, but at the same time, as a kid, it felt like he was a threat, you know? He looked like he can wreck you. Like Floyd Mayweather just wouldn't be able to take this guy, you know? As a kid, you just like, holy crap, this guy could really wreck me. I need to be careful. It took me quite a while, once again, to realize that he needs to get tired. So I gotta wait for him. Hit him. Once again, butt slam. And I did it. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Gives you 50 crystals. And then it sends you to the next area. I don't know if there was a cutscene. Yeah, there's a cutscene. Okay, I'll show that cutscene too. So I'm gonna save it here. But yeah, it shows a cutscene. So once again, I'll have another cutscene showing the, the end result of that fight. But yeah, let's continue on. Let's do a couple of stages here. And this, this, along with Croc 2's winter areas, really enforced, um, what are the words? Give me a, a love for winter. Also, these levels suck. I hate these levels. If I remember correctly. Now, is there anything behind me? No, oh, okay. Oh, God, the freaking... Ugh. Just, ah, uh, just, ah, uh, just, ah. Uh. Yeah, let's, let's take this slow. Listen to the sound of the snow and stuff. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah. There we go. Alright, he's gonna come back. Yeah. What you do is you stop walking. Yeah, whenever that happens, you stop walking. 
It's a colored crystal. Yeah, you stop hanging, I mean, or moving. Ah, okay. We got this. Oof. Oof. So it's very short, you know. This actually kind of reminds me of the last after game levels of Croc 2. And they were running out of budget and time. They just kind of threw stuff together. But at the same time, this felt much more done. More well done, I think I should say. And uh, you can really appreciate that. Another colored crystal in disguise. Don't remember them disguising them like that. Or they'd look like regular crystals far away. But listen to that, it's so Christmassy. Like they had the best soundtrack in this game. You just gotta love it, man. Butt slam. Nice. Alright, we got a key, right? So what is that key gonna be for? Probably for a cage. Okay. Oh yeah, this could be a little difficult. If you're not too careful. That rat doesn't look natural. Give me crystals, okay. I think what I'll do with the rats is I'll just butt slam them to be safe. This is a considerably large area here. Okay, I know where to go. The snow area is pretty nice though. Like, it just, ah man. I just don't know how to explain it properly. Uh, anyone who's played this as a child will know. They'll know. Oh, I remember this. This is this level. I thought it was looking familiar when I went use the balloon and there was a crate and the platforms. Like, I remember particular moments in this game. It's just particular moments. And as I revisit them all, it just, you know, it just hits you. Because he, it, like, look at this. I know this doesn't look like anything. It doesn't look like anything at all. There's some snowflake pixels. You got the background there, you even have the sun in the distance. But as a kid, you could feel the rays of that sun on your face. Those mountains in the distance were mountains. And it felt like you were on a mountain somewhere here. So just, if you never played this game, you know, I'm sure there's a game that gave you that feeling as a kid. Oh, I, I don't think I remember this, maybe? I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna hit that just yet. Oh, throw snowballs. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break these first. Because this might be a time limit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait. Yep. I don't think it was a time limit, necessarily. But I'm just, you know, being careful in case. This game can be trolly. <laughs> Anything behind the gong? Nope. The gong's also floating. You notice that? Yeah. That's fine. Another level down. So yeah, there's six gabos. There's six gabos in a level. Just for further reference. We'll give it a good save. I'm spastic when it comes to saving in these games because you never know when it'll crash and you just lose everything. So be really careful. Also, there's bad puns in the stage titles. What's this one? The Ice of Life? Yeah, there's really bad puns in the titles. Like They were like, what's going to be funny for all the chitterns? But whatever. Oh, listen to that music. Oh, this music. I have this music on my iPod. You look up Croc soundtrack on YouTube. 
I just simply downloaded the music for this game and just listened to it. Just to refeel, you know, all the feels of childhood. But this track in particular is really good. And I'll just kind of let you listen to it for a while. And then it goes back to being happy again. But the music in this game is top notch. Top notch. So we got a key, let's head back and use that key on that button. This is something Croc 2 kinda did, where you backtrack to open up things, but at the same time it didn't do it as much as this. I don't think. I don't really remember. There's a gobble. Gobo, whatever. I watched the commercial for this game. Believe it or not, there's a commercial. I think maybe it was on the Home Alone 2 or whatever DVD or something. But the commercial's like, you legend of the Gobos. And it, I think that's probably how they're pronounced, Gobos. But I always just say Gobbo, you know? I've always said Gobbo. And I know it's going to be like a Jif or Jeff thing, but I get it. I know I'm saying it wrong, but whatever. So this isn't too difficult. This actually, I remember those cogwheels being a lot of trouble for me. Now that I return to it, it's not too bad. Oh, listen to that. It's mysterious music now. God, it feels real. Like, it sounds good only because I'm using headphones while playing this. I'm telling you guys. Oh, God. That was not good. This game came out in the golden age of gaming just gonna say that because it just couldn't get much simpler or better I mean I get it yeah things could be complex and enjoyable and that kind of adds ex to the experience because you get background to stuff and you know boss fights and other things have more meaning but at the same time you really got to just appreciate the nice simple things in games And it just, you know, this game really made me love Winter. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure this doesn't look very impressive to people who've never played this or, you know. It just... Uh... I'll stop trying to explain it. It's just too good. Can't word it properly. It's like, you know, being in a family member's household that you really love and just care very much for and just the smells of a house or of a place or of a cooked meal as a kid. Oh, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. It's being really considerate. Well, I screwed that one up. No, go back. Okay. Alright, so what you do here, obviously, since I screwed up, you won't be able to see it, but what you do is, I'm guessing when you collect a crystal on the side, bring it back to the middle so that you're ready for it. That's the key to that one. And it looks like it would have got you a gabo. Okay. Ooh, got a heart, though. Alright, well, I'll save it here, and, um, I'll quit. There's also gotta, I gotta go into my settings here, and actually switch the music options. Tracks repeat, tracks play once. I'm gonna try that. 
just to see, you know, if they continue on with the same track or if they go to others because it sounds like it's having problems going to the second track in areas. So maybe it's just trying to repeat the same one over and over like I have said. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this one. Uh, I'll obviously keep doing this until I'm done with it. I just love this. I love this. And I hope you love it too. Please, you know, like, comment a particular moment you love in this game. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe comment your childhood game. And look, it's a little demo of the areas we've just been through. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.